Protecting our lakes and streams is one of Iowa's top priorities. In a state where nearly 90% of the land area is in farms, potential contamination from ag runoff is an important water quality issue. One way to reduce this potential pollution of our groundwater is by planting vegetative filter strips, also called buffers. A vegetative filter strip is an area along a ditch, stream, river, or lake that is permanently planted to grass, shrubs, or trees. Filter strips provide many benefits. They reduce water pollution and stream bank erosion, promote wildlife habitat and diversity, reduce flood damage, and create attractive landscapes that beautify our state. Strips of grass, trees, and shrubs along streams and ponds provide excellent habitat for birds, deer, insects, and other wildlife. Cleaner water makes better habitat for fish and aquatic life. And the beauty of the trees and vegetation are aesthetically pleasing to landowners and passers-by. But not all of the benefits of filter strips are visible to the eye. Filters work in several ways to slow erosion and protect groundwater from contamination. The first level of protection created by a filter strip is slowing runoff. During or after a rain, water flows over a field carrying soil particles, nutrients, and pesticides with it. When the water hits the edge of the filter strip, it slows down. This allows the soil particles, called sediment, and nutrients to settle out of the water into the vegetation. Some of the soil particles adhere to vegetation while the nutrients are absorbed by plant roots and leaves. In this way, the filter strip traps unwanted sediment, nutrients, and pesticides before they reach streams or ponds. Filter strips also protect water through infiltration. Infiltration occurs when water moves downward below the soil surface. As runoff water enters the filter strip, it slows down, allowing time for the water to soak into the soil. As the water infiltrates into the soil, it carries with it attached nutrients and pesticides. This prevents excess nutrients and pesticides from contaminating the water body. In addition to slowing runoff and promoting infiltration, filter strips also stabilize stream banks to protect them from erosion. Roots of trees and shrubs stabilize the bank and hold soil in place. The type of vegetation in the filter strip determines its benefits. For instance, a dense grass sod does a good job of filtering runoff. A well-designed filter of native grasses will capture up to 90% of sediment off the field. By adding rows of trees and shrubs to the filter strip, it stabilizes stream banks and provides wildlife habitat. Proper maintenance of an established filter strip will greatly extend its life and usefulness. During the first couple of years while grass is becoming established, the strip should be mowed or clipped regularly. This reduces competition from unwanted weeds and encourages the grass to grow. Every three to five years, a filter strip should be burned off. A controlled blaze removes accumulated thatch and nutrients that have built up in the plant tissue. Fire also reinvigorates native plants and grasses. Expert help is available to design and install filter strips. Landowners can contact their local Natural Resources Conservation Service or Soil and Water Conservation District Office for technical assistance. These experts will help design a filter appropriate to the land and provide advice about what plants would be most effective to achieve the desired result. In many cases, government programs are available to help pay the cost of installation and maintenance. Talk to your local district conservationist or farm service agency about what options are available in your area. Well-built and maintained filter strips have many benefits, but they can't do it alone. Filter strips should be considered part of an overall conservation plan to achieve all the available advantages to the landowner, to residents living downstream, and to the ecosystem in general.